Man them, you ever seen your ex a few years down the line looking at stress, age and bad luck just triple teamed her like Rollins, Reigns and Ambrose? You're there thinking to yourself, thank God I got there first before it all turned to shit like yesterday's dinner. But the truth is, you probably just caught her on a bad day and she always looked like that, bro. You just caught feelings. Feelings are right up there with things you don't want to be catching like HIV and your parents having sex. Feelings cloud basic judgement. That's why you can't make sense of any of the decisions you made while you were under the influence like Eminem and D12 on the Marshall Mathers LP. You see, when you love a thing like Kel loves orange shoulder, it's peak. You'll later look back on certain things you said and did and want to take a hammer to your own face like Amy and Gone Girl. Listen, that's another reason why girls always think their friends are sexy, even when they're battered like chicken nuggets. Trust, these girls are emotionally involved, so with that in mind, if a girl ever says to you, oh, I've got a friend that you might like, I suggest you run like Joe Simmons. I'll be honest with you, I fucked up once and let a girl set me up with her mate. And to be honest, if she wasn't a female, I would have spun her like a barber chair. She fully stitched man up. I thought she gave me a Meza Ozil inch perfect through ball, but it turned out to be a fucking Phil Jones hospital ball. Them blue steak back passes fam, undercooked. Raised man's blood pressure unnecessarily. She showed me a pic of her mate and I said, yeah, like Usher. When I tell you she had that strong partnership at the back like Rio and Vidic and she had them torture racks like Lex Luger, I was looking to tear that up like a parking ticket. So I'm gassed. Get the WhatsApp. Been talking to this girl for a couple weeks. Finally, man's going to get to meet her, but boy. When I tell you them pictures must have been hella old or she done some Jimmy Savile level touching up because I couldn't fucking believe what I saw. Don't get me wrong. Everyone loves a burger, but she turned up looking like five guys. I couldn't fucking believe it. She had more whips than Bayern Munich. I swear I saw Iron Robin cutting him from the right. I was fucking fuming because any friend that knows me knows that I'm a fussy guy. Don't get me wrong. I like some meat on my women. There's no way I'm touching a skinny ting whose legs look like an 11 from the back like Eric Lamella. Bearing in mind, I said some meat, not the whole Ross Clark butchers. Like, what am I supposed to do with all that? That girl had more folds than the front of an old pair Air Force Ones. So as you can imagine, I was pissed. And I'm not that guy that's good at hiding disappointment. I felt like JT when he slipped in Moscow, fam. You know them ones where she sold me dreams? I was so close. Trust me, within five minutes, she knew that situation wasn't going no further. And that bill was getting split like Brad and Jennifer Aniston, mate. Long story short, the date sucked worse than Talisa's sex tape. And me and the girl that set me up with Free Willy, we no longer talk. The betrayal! Rants and bants. Make sure you like the video, share that fucking video, tag your friends, add the Twitter, add the Snap, add the Insta. And as I said already earlier on my Snapchat, if you got any requests, you can at me on Twitter. And if it's a decent subject that man can touch on and I'm feeling it, then I'll run with it. So at me. Don't message me on Snapchat because it's messing up man's phone memory and my phone memory is low. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Tag a dickhead girl that tried to set you up with one of her dead brethren. This shit needs to stop.